Okay, continuing on for our last topic of conics, which is the uh, parabola. Oopsie, I haven't switched on. Okay, uh, parabola, they are a little bit of recaps. There are two types of parabola. To be more exact, there are four. One is horizontal. Another one is a, uh, well, you can call it horizontal. You can also call it a flip vertical if you want to. It's not really vertical yet. <laughs> this is uh, the formula will be x squared equals to 4py, while this one here is y squared equals to 4px. And yes, what happened this one we got here if your p is more than zero, which is a positive. Same goes for this one here. p is more than zero, which is a positive. Then we got this graph. But what happens if we get ourselves p less than zero? Which is a negative. Then we get ourselves the opposites of it. Just a little reminder. The where's the symmetrical line for here? This one, right? And what do you call about this symmetrical line? Symmetrical is parallel to x or y axis. Y axis. Same goes for this one here. What do you call for this one? Where's the symmetrical line? This symmetrical line is parallel to what? X axis. Same goes for this one here. And for this symmetrical line, where's the focus? Uh, for this parabola, where's the focus? Somewhere around there, somewhere around here, somewhere around here, somewhere around here. What's Where's the center? The center is here. What's the distance here? Which is what we call P. The value of P you write here is here. Understand that? There's a correlation of this P. Same goes for here. If here your focus, here's your center. What's the distance here? It's the same of P. Okay, uh, one thing that I forgot to tell last time, the center is also the same as the vertex for this case. Vertex is always means the pointy part. So the pointy part of a parabola is over there, which, which in this case is the same as the center. And yes, there's another controversial part, which is something else. The same distance P give you a directrix, a line. Same distance P. Okay, sorry for a bit of a rush summary. And what can I say about this directrix? It's parallel to what? This directrix is parallel to the x-axis. This directrix is parallel to y-axis. So that's why sometimes I would like to call this one is a horizontal parabola. This why sometimes I would like to call this a vertical parabola. Because it depends on your directrix as well. Okay, shall we go? Continue. So 
So let's say if you are given something as simple as this. x squared equals to negative 8y. Draw me the parabola. Okay, since x and y is like that, I forgot to say this is a parabola at origin. So it starts with the center here at origin. And what can we say? Is this a vertical parabola or horizontal parabola? Is it the smiley one or the, or the half smile or the sad one? It looks something like that. Okay. I mean, firstly, since this is x squared, am I right? The squared is at x, so it looks either this way or either set. Which way, which way should we go? The smile or the set? Why the set? If you look here, we got ourselves negative eight, negative 8. And if we... We can write down... What's the formula just now? 4P. Yes, you are right. X squared 4PY. In this case, what is our value of P? P is equals to negative 2. So it's this one here. It's a set graph. Set parabola. Understand that? Okay, what's the center? The center is 0, 0. What's the vertex? It's the same as the center. But what about the focus? Negative 2. Negative 2 alone is, is not a correct answer. What's the value of P? P is negative 2. What, what's, what does the P do? Does? It's a distance here. P is equals to negative 2. So here is your focus. Yes. What's the coordinate of this? 0, negative 2 or negative 2, 0? Zero? 0, negative 2. Use your common sense on how to mark the coordinate, okay? There's a formula, but I think there's a lot of hassle. Are we done? We are missing something. What do we miss? We are missing our directrix. Where's your directrix? If it's down here, focus down here, so your directrix is opposite it. Here's your directrix. Uh, you should not draw your directrix as a line. I mean, it should be a dotted line because directrix, in a way, is an imaginary line. Remember your directrix is a dotted line, not a full complete line because it's imaginary. Can we say something about the coordinate of our directrix? If here is 0, negative 2, should the directrix be 0, 2? 0, 2 is for a point, not for a line. Y equals to 2. You are right. Understand that? Be careful. Directrix is a line, not a point. That's a common mistake in exam. It's a red pen there. Eh? Y equals to 2. Okay, a little bit trivia. Where's your symmetrical line? Where, where is it first? In this case, it's here. Okay, I, I'm going to do it like this because it's kind of impossible to see. So that's your symmetrical line. So what can I say about that coordinate of the symmetrical line? It's over here. So x equals to? Zero. Okay, in a way you can see this thing. If your parabola is a horizontal type, then this, 
Directrix is Y, symmetrical is X. Okay, let's try one more. What about here? Y squared equals to 16X. First and foremost, go to the formula. What formula do you got? Y squared equals to? 4px. In this case, what can I say about my p? p equals to 4. So what types of a vertical, what types of parabola do I have here? It's a C type. Goes to the right, sir. Or oh, open to the right is, is another way of saying. What other formulas, what other notations should I put over there? Our P is 4, what can I do with it? I can find my focus. What's the coordinate for our focus here? 4, 0, not 0, 4, use your common sense. Where else can I do with my P? Find a directrix over here. Is my directrix negative 4, 0? No. Why not negative 4, 0? It's a line, not a point. So your directrix is? X equals to negative 4. Congratulations if you got that far. Uh, just a little bit of notation. Vertex is the same as center. Zero, zero. Where else do I, what else do we miss? The symmetrical line. Okay, sorry, I have to draw it this way. The jagged line. It's not supposed to be jagged. It's supposed to be dotted. So what can I say about the symmetrical line? Y equals to zero. Remember, your symmetrical and your directrix is opposite of each other. Okay, one of them is X, now one of them is Y. So don't get don't get confused. If you manage to give all of this, then you get yourself a perfect mark. In a way, you can say parabola is quite similar to ellipse. You you can't have the same sense. Okay, so let's go a bit harder. 